guys welcome back to another video i am victor and this is my beautiful baby <laughs> my beautiful wife they call him mrs quetcho <laughs> they go who they call me mrs, mrs. quetcho okay that's what that's how they call me now mm. yeah so so that's my beautiful wife guys um beautiful. we are everything that we are <laughs> anyway uh, today we want to have a conversation with you on the before we got married what we thought marriage was and what we are experiencing now yeah. so why are you just doing that <laughs> you wanted to be on me like that like yeah seriously. how was marriage uh, how was marriage for you like before you got married, before how, I got was married. how was it for you how, how did you see it? How, did you see it how did you see marriage Okay, let me use my 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 parents on okay. Then my my mom and my dad used to take us out like when it's Christmas, we go to the beach. My mom cooked a lot, a lot of meal. We go to the beach, sit, have fun, and all of that. We go to Dansuman just to go and drink and take kebab. You know, my dad used to take us out and all of that with other with some of his friends. We go out party and all of that. But. I, I saw it to be like marriage was so nice because I'm seeing even though I I always saw my parents quarreling and all of that but I had this So before you go you mean that by taking you out and all of that your dad used to spoil you your mama is your mama and your daddy used to spoil you Wait I'm talking about them how they used to vibe go out talk love yeah. take us out and party and all of that so it looked so nice that oh I'm like I never thought marriage had all these emotions in it. You know, I thought marriage, even though I knew they were quarreling, they have quarrels, my mom would leave the house and all of that and come back. But I, when I was a kid growing up, I thought marriage was so nice. So it's nice. Marriage was perfect. That was mm. how I was seeing it. Mm. Because even though they were, they, they were quarrels, they had the fun parts. My mom and dad in the house, it's so nice they play like they play like yeah. when we come back from school you see my mom and dad playing it's so yeah. nice yeah. they really play like a lot i mean uh, a lot happened in my mom and dad's marriage but after i got married when i look back at those times and now now that i'm in marriage i'm like wow i wasn't told all of this okay fine my mom didn't tell me but she could cope and endure and didn't make us see the hard parts of marriage she didn't let us see the difficult parts of marriage all of that it's when we grew up and now that she's talking about it like oh but it's now that i've grown i'm in the marriage i'm like it's it's consists of containing emotions trying to control it's pretending going in the house the emotions are so that like, you feel like killing yourself but when you go out you have to look god oh, bless our parents our parents are doing so because how i saw marriage then and now is different like so i'm using then to to fix now like yes like i look at how my mom used to act when my dad wasn't having money my dad will come home my dad will be playing that's why he said i asked you that question okay my dad comes back home and he's all nice he comes back home and he brings he's not having money he'll come and oh okay okay then sometimes my mom will be like oh papa i'll go for the money my mom will prepare jam and tomato stew for all of us to eat and my dad will come home and playing and laughing and all of that and sometimes my dad would didn't my mom my dad will have money when he's coming back from work he would just buy like there was some fried rice beef, some chinese fried rice beef. he would go and buy it yeah. bring it home for us to eat and my dad had all of those kind of vibes but my my mom's in-laws my dad's side they were trying to enter and all of that so you know I'm, I'm i'm using those experience my mom had to contain mine to polish my shoe in my marriage like yeah yeah because like <laughs> what i knew about marriage is not what i'm in now yeah 
not that my marriage is not good but it entails a lot yeah it entails you know, a lot somebody will say who the shoe fits is the one who wears it yes so like yours the shoe that is fitting you is the one that you're wearing yes now. yes but but before like with all you just said and what you've told me previously about your mother and your father and yeah. your marriage like yeah. When you're gonna get married, you didn't have any fear of the maybe the unknown, the outcomes and all of that. No, I always told myself that what 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 um I would always use my parents' marriage to polish myself because of what we saw. We we noticed some things. We noticed it in and I always tell myself that what's happened to my mom or dad is not going to happen to me. Mm in life you have to try something yeah no matter how bad or good it is you have to just try it yeah and you have to just stand on a solid ground and say that okay no matter what i'll still go at it like yeah. yeah so i wasn't scared to get married okay i was i wasn't scared i was like i'm leaving me behind coming into marriage and trying to manage you and me together so that's what you were scared of at least at least i was scared of that like me not being not i'm not being me now but me not being me then yeah living all of those lives that i used to live and coming into marriage and trying to look after all of this sometimes when i'm there i think about it, i'm like i have to kiss when i'm going out i have to go out to them <laughs> so who am i going to live them? okay okay yeah. a time will come i would be going out on my own like you know yeah. all of those thoughts come yeah. yeah so 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 you feel like everybody who gets married while well, you're the other day they also would have that feeling of hey i'm leaving me to not yes, myself with somebody everybody if if you don't feel that then then you were in for something mm. if you don't feel that way then it means you were in for something either you were in for the money or something or you, there was something particular that you were in for but if truly truly you are going in for the marriage you will feel all this emotion before getting married wow yeah mm. the main reason someone will cry before when um, the marriage will end it would be because um know that when you're booking on paper even though the booking aunt is part of you know, but leaving yourself <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah it's true <laughs> yeah but leaving yourself behind what you used to do what you get like all of those things leaving your mom and dad like now if you go into the marriage your parents will even tell you before you leave the house that okay no no pill we drink one cup it's a whole lot of like Oh really? So yeah. What you mean by your okunu pair means that it's just you and your and husband. husband. Yeah. Like yeah, that's what they'll tell you. Your parents will surely tell you that it's between you and your husband. When you go, um I say I found such a put your hands in between your ties, put your problems there and look up to God, talk to God, go in. it's only you and your husband and God like you see that thing. But but I feel like um, this part of the part where they will say put your hands in there between you and god and all that mm-hmm. i feel like there are problems that uh, many times if we leave it to chance like putting your hands yeah. like you're leaving yes. it to chance yes. like bring it out to god, god. And all that. whilst you have I to feel like out. you are facing them there are problems you're supposed to solve it yes so why don't you rather um see them as lessons yeah and like when it comes to you it hits it's hard yeah it's painful it's not sweet it's, yeah. it's not nice it's not nice but when it hits you why don't you see it as a solution uh, a problem or um, a feedback to help you improve on and then oh, rather yeah. sit down take them one by one and solve them if yeah. you approach it like that feel it will make your marriage oh, yeah. work and be better so, yeah and, and even now when i look at what is what's um, um like the marriage i'm in now and i look back i look at okay my mom used to do this when my dad is not having mine okay okay why don't i do the same thing so it's like i've just calmed my my brains down i've calmed my emotions i'm like okay my mom used to do this like everything when my my, my mom came in she was leaving and she was advising me i told her that i saw what's happening at home marriage, in yeah. their marriage so everything that's happened there is what i'm using to correct everything i'm in now yeah. and she was like it's good that i'm using that too. so to, to that effect you know i feel like you have experienced quite a lot with your mother and father. And father, yes. That's and, right. and that can have a very big impact on you. Yes. And that for can sure. be negative or positive. positive for sure. It, it depends on how you would approach, approach it. it. That's it. Wow. My approach to it is a positive way because uh, things happen. You know, my mom, when my mom and dad quarrel, my mom will leave that. My, my dad will quarrel my mom. My dad never chose hand on my mom. 
yeah. but do quarrel my mom will leave and my dad will say he will keep the children and then my mom will leave but in one day time my dad you know that my dad is tired and then my mother will come for us and then later my dad will call my mother will come and pick us from everywhere and come back but one thing i learned from there is when there is a quarrel i don't need to go mm. i have to still be here yeah. because it's between you and me i don't need to go outside for someone else to know yeah. my mom was very secretive she had a particular place that she goes to it was a, a mission house or something mm. that's why we'll go and be in mm. mampobi we'll go and live there but even though oh, no, the people so. <laughs> <laughs> but even though that one happen, the people there will know that this is the main reason why yeah you see it's yeah. because you have a car even though they don't know the main problem but they know because you've carried your husband that's why you are here uh-huh yeah. so you see that thing so that's what i've learned i don't need to go i'll still be here if you go and come and you frown, I'll still be here. When you're ready, you come. That was my mom. When my dad was ready, he came back. He goes back to pick my mom from where she is. So, yeah. Okay, so, um, any maybe three lessons, both negative and positive, that you have seen before you got married that you want to share? Okay, before marriage. That maybe you are using to correct yourself now. Yeah. I think you, you said yeah. one, but if you can. Give yeah, and two. one thing. I I would the, the negative part was when my mom and dad quarrels then my dad brings the anger on as the children meanwhile it shouldn't be so so that's what I'm using positively now and um my dad I had to use it I'm not speaking bad of my parents though okay but my dad allowed his family to interfere okay. so much recently I was telling my mom that that she remember when this and that that called us my brother and i and said bad things about my mother and my brother got angry and insulted my uncle and my auntie told him that blah 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 so much insult and then we left so since then me like this i tried they don't have that with me mm. my brother said the same they said we don't respect so mm. that's how they see us so my my dad's family we we like these children the three children you know, like the three of us we don't know much about my dad's family. The only people we know is my dad and his siblings. But even though we don't really have this kind of a bond, wow. so these are the only people. So, so it was like my my dad allowed it, even though he didn't allow it. It's like because they were we were living in one compound, so it was like they had the yeah. So it mm, was allowed. Mm, mm. You just and, something that is so powerful. Yeah. And I feel like yeah. I like all of you should hear it. She said that because um, the, the the father's side really interfered in the marriage. Yeah. But then they didn't really really interfere. They were they only had a chance and option to interfere because all of them were living on the same compound. compound yes. So I I mean like I feel like this is why all of you that the men especially will be told that before you marry a girl, Charlie, move, move out, out go and rent and be yeah. somewhere. Yeah. We just hear you. And even the women part too could happen. Yeah, Sometimes the men part is okay. The women parts want to intervene yeah. to destroy them. Yeah. Many times the mothers the mothers of the wives. Yes. It it, it can happen. Yeah. So me if if I was say something if you go into the marriage, just block just uh, give deaf ears to both families. Mm. Just mm. be in even though they are also involved, you just pay deaf attention to yeah. them and it should be only even it will come they will say i was telling my mom before she left the last time i told her that she was saying something that oh if anything i should come to i told her that no i don't come to her i'll go to my counselor and she said that's a good thing she looked at me and she said yeah i'm going no <laughs> that was what she told me before she left yeah. Ooh, i said i'll come to you i'll go to my counselor yeah. she said that's good i said what she did in your marriage that's what i'm using for myself now mm. so that means that she didn't go to her, ma- her counselor no wow my mom keeps things to herself mm. okay she didn't even go to my my grandmother would if my grand my mom tells my grandma oh this is what has happened my grandmother will come to the house to blast everybody and leave but my grandmother wasn't involved in the marriage mm. Mm. okay mm. so that's that's what i've i've um learned from the end before my mom and dad went to separate it if my mom didn't take this issue to the families for them to call them they went their separate ways after how many years 25 to 30 years of marriage wow. yeah so i grew up to become and, and, 20 and something I, and aren't you afraid of that no like for yours no 
it's an experience my mom has we saw everything mm -hmm. so that's what i'm using for my life yeah. in my marriage yeah. so yeah <laughs> if my mom sh wouldn't shouldn't have told the family for them to have the meeting yeah I'm not sure my mom and dad will go separate with wow. no matter what. Wow. They really had a very good bond. Yeah. People in the area, when you go to Santa Maria anyway, Veritas area, and you ask so, um Anthony and his wife Nadu or Apuse, they will tell you. They fight people they here, bond. they bond, they eat. My dad will wake up one early morning, prepare rice and um stew. come beef stew. Mm. My mom will just be sitting there mm. and looking watching talking laughing my dad was saying kotoko one kid and then we said we'll laugh and we all sit and have those conversations you know yeah. well if she shouldn't have told the family i'm not sure if she should have gone to a council or something i'm sure they would still be yeah i'm sure they would have found a way to solve it yeah so, right. don't tear up oh no 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 no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but i'm just having emotions now mm. like, it was a great experience yeah W w w was that was that really like what okay you said that you you are using those experiences to correct it's quite smart, yeah. wow yeah so so what do you see your marriage like the picture of your marriage what do you see it too? and with the help of god my marriage will become one good one but i know it it wouldn't be easy because it's not easy yeah. yeah if if i don't control my emotions and control my mind and 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 let god help me I'm sure if I don't do that, I would one time give up and be like, oh, okay, I, I, I won't even use my mom's own. Okay, it's, it's my own son. But with the help of God and me trying to compare, I'm not comparing, but I'm trying to use my mom's, my, my mom and dad's own to yeah. sharpen yes. mine. So yeah, with the help of God, I know my marriage will get somewhere and it will be a great testimony. Okay. Wow. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you too. I don't know if today he interviewed me or something, but I I am I'm so happy. <laughs> it is so nice. I'm just having memories of my mom when we, we, and she was married and nobody's in it. Like she doesn't have friends yeah. in their marriage. Yeah. She didn't have friends. Do you know what she'll do? She'll just go and sit in front of a container. There was uh, when you come out of the house, you see where the church was? Yeah. There were containers there. Mm. Like in Kofoto and there, so and pavement. So she just going to say, she told me, fuck it up. Sit then. She, if she has nobody to talk to, she talks to me, my brother, or my sister. We'll sit there and we'll play Ludo. <laughs> like she's so single in a marriage. Mm. Like she didn't really involve friends. If she has to do friends, she'll go and talk, love. And she was very popular in the area. She, the one thing she really did was to do good. She was mm. really doing good in that area. She gave people, even though she wasn't having, she was giving. She goes out and when she, you've given birth, she'll just buy baby stuff and bring it to you and all of that. Mm. So when I even go to the area today, there was one woman there, she, she braids and I go down braiding. She didn't take me money. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Even till now, like when we go there and all of that. So wow. one thing I've learned, she was really good to everybody. No matter how bad you were to her, but she was really good. Wow. So that's what I'm using for my mom. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? I, for one, I, I didn't really see much about marriage. I wouldn't, I didn't see much or anything about marriage at all. <laughs> because even though I didn't, I haven't, up to now, I've not really gotten the full scope or story about how my mother and my father were mm -hmm. and all of that. I would say mine affected me also greatly mm -hmm. but i it got a time that i have to like you know put, bring myself up from that place okay, and then begin to sharpen myself get myself ready for what i was going to get myself into, into which is the current marriage i mean now yeah. but my real mother and my dad why are you saying your real mother when i say real mother i'm heading there Okay. Because I, I lived quite at a time with a okay, stepmother. Okay, for sure. And then at the time, I have to come and live with a stepfather, even though my father okay, was there. Okay, I get that. <laughs> you know? I get that. So, I didn't really see any picture of Mary, how Mary was beautiful or perfect or all of that. <laughs> because I would always say this, that I didn't grow up with my mother. I didn't even know my mother. I thought my elderly sister was my mother. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And like But I grew know. up with a stepmother. But... My stepmother and my father didn't really show me that or of. anything that showed that this is marriage. marriage. Yeah. And also, um, 
I, I, I never really saw anything about I mean your mother and your father they did proper wedding oh! they did ceremony and mm. all of that but on my side I didn't really see any of that with my mother and even my okay, stepmother okay. and even my that. mother so you see like these things are strange and foreign to me I like I didn't know anything about I didn't I see that. anything about that I, that I I remember some of the stories that uh, I mean how my stepmother even treated us and then not like a bad bad way but how she treated us how we lived together and we used to go to farm even though my father was a chief and all of that and it really affected us but by some way somehow I, I, I had a touch where I could spot some of these things. Mm -hmm. I was I hear, I hear stories about how women cheat and betray their husbands yeah. because of maybe sex, money, yeah. and those things. So yeah. um, uh, money, sex, and then uh, even how uh, to be a father mm -hmm. or to be a husband. You so you remember, remember when we met, I told you that uh, three things that I vowed not to disappoint you in is sex, uh, money-wise, and then being a husband That's or a fine. father, you know. But one of the things was that my father was a very generous man. And my father literally helped a lot of people in my hometown, taking people to police, taking them to soldier. Wow. You know, all of them were going. But my siblings, none of them were, were going. Anybody who wants to go to soldier or police, they just come to my father. Anybody in the town, they come to my father, my father will wow. push them there. And today, today, I don't really, I haven't really seen anybody come from there saying, oh, oh my, my father, father did this. So, you know, help hey. us too. Human it, it has been some way, and 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 when it comes to marriage and family, for my side, we've had a lot of trouble with my my family. Mm -hmm. My family is large and big. One cousin, one uncle, and his whole family is fighting my dad and mm -hmm. us and all of that. Mm -hmm. So it has become crazy. Yeah. So I didn't know love. I didn't know relationship. I didn't know marriage and all. That. So it was weird and strange for me. It was like really know a picture of that. You see. You uh -huh. So until recently 2017 18 19 when i started swim tech that so at the point for me before i even met her at the point in my life i didn't have feelings for women not that i have feelings for men no <laughs> but i didn't have feelings for women i didn't know women I, no. I used to you know me and women that kind of thing it wasn't there until that some time where i felt like oh i want to be in a relationship sure, but even yeah. that i was still unsure of a lot of things <laughs> But I had to go and learn and read and study on my own about women, about relationships, about marriage and about all of that. So like before I met her, I had already imbibed the mean like banks, banks of knowledge and information about Charity. marriage and all of yeah, Hey, I've gone. Oh. Injected I've gone. With. And, and, and you know, I've asked a lot of questions to, with some early people. Most of the people I know who I'll call friends, they're older. You know, like I always roll with older people. Mm -hmm. So I've had conversations asking them questions and asking them, yeah, you only. <laughs> Sorry. <Don't mind>, eh? <laughs> um, you know, like, asking them questions about them. marriage and those things. Yeah. So those were the conversations and things that really helped me today. You know, somebody said that a man who a man is who he is by the conversation that he had with his father. Oh, okay. But my, I didn't really have that. I was my dad's favorite, but you know. No, no. If, if, even in our African homes, like do do they do that? Our no, they don't really have do that. It's actually, now yeah. that. We are, we, we are have doing that. The, the generation doing that is doing that. Yeah. But. So for me, I didn't really have any picture of marriage. But when it comes to it, uh, at a point, I really wanted to get married. Mm -hmm. But then that I really wanted to get married, I wanted to be in a relationship. But it wasn't working. I had struggled. Hey, me so far, me brave. But I suffered to f meet or find a lady. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I, I made a, you know, God this and that, and I met her. And then we started. But before that quite naturally a lot has happened uh, so so I, so, I wonder, so, how, so how did you see marriage you saw marriage as in a bad thing or you didn't see marriage as in marriage would be something when you go in it's going to go well for you or something i didn't see marriage at all in any picture whether bad or good i didn't see it in any picture i remember there, there were some things that my father used to allow i remember some of, one of my uncle came and beat my stepmother at some point, I told you about that story. Yeah, I remember you mentioned. And it wasn't a nice thing. I was always furious about that. But some of those things had an effect on me. Yeah, too. I told you about that. Some of those things had an effect on me. And we have to be very mindful and watch this as, as men. Yeah. You know, it's not about beating a woman that shows you love her. You know. It's madness. It's madness. Total madness. madness. And so I didn't really see any picture about marriage at all yeah. for me. But whichever 
process I'm in now is the picture that I have created for my own self. Okay, what I've learned, studied, and read, and all of that. And uh, yeah, moving forward, I feel like it is a picture that gradually. Yeah. And one it's of the things too is that I have opened myself up to allow God to raise me in this regard. Sure. And I'm learning about fatherhood. I'm learning about husbandship and all of that. So I've allowed myself for God to teach me and bring me up in that regard. If not, I can actually be brave. So so that has been it for me. So me uh, there's nothing much for me to talk about say about marriage because I, know, right? I didn't see any picture. No. But getting married to you, I wasn't I wasn't afraid. What I, I probably would say I might have been afraid of w- was my inability to marry you. When I say my inability, uh, the absence of finances. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, because uh, absence of finances also because I, eventually I want you to be with me. I want us to be together. Yeah. You know, so because I want us to be together, it's like, there's where a is process. The money? There's a process that you ha- we have to go through, and if we don't go through that process, the process will be able to be done because of finances. Yeah. And then also, uh, so one of the things that I saw was because my mother and my father and those people they didn't really marry, uh, and they didn't do process wedding and all of those things. I, I wanted to really really do Why? it. Huh. So because I wanted to really do it. It was one of the things I really wanted to do. I don't want to be disappointed at all. Mm-hmm. Like that disappointment, no. So that was it for me. But aside that, no, I feel like f- for the journey ahead, we can only allow God to help us yeah. be sure that the journey works well. Yeah. yeah. So this is what we thought about marriage yeah. and how it is as for us now. But Currently, it's going well. Marriage, marriage is, is well. sweet. It's the best. It, marriage is good. It's, it's, it's the best. But don't let it's a any, lot of work. Don't let anybody like to be a marry. Marry is a if good thing. If you're asking marriage about marriage, you know that, Charlie, prices of things in Ghana is going high. Going <laughs> Today, you, they will say bad price. Be like 500 CDs. <laughs> now, when tomorrow you go back, uh, they said if today you take bad price and you go back tomorrow to go and pay the rapper, they would increase for you. They would increase for you. They will say marriage that the dollar price is going high. Yeah. It, <laughs> Marriage is a good thing. Yeah. When you enter, you know how to put things in place. Yeah. That's what you have to do. Even yeah. though we know that marriage is, um, it has its own disabilities, ups and, ups and down, and all of that. But it's a solid it's thing. It's a solid thing. It's a solid thing. When, you are in a, when you are working for a company, you go in for the money, you go in even though you have the passion for it. But when you are there, you have ups and downs, you have disabilities, yeah. you have things that you go through, so it's normal it's yeah. life itself is a whole lot of things so just do, do, do you know something that just click in my mind the reason we have ups and downs and quarrels and those things is because we are two different people yeah, yeah from two different, different backgrounds our feelings our needs and our wants is it's two different, different things so it is adjusting with it that finds it difficult yeah. and a time will come where you'll be like okay it will be in alignment it will be you know so just like, oh, okay. i feel like that is what it is so yeah. guys don't let your friends lie to you that men are trash. They are not trash. Don't but let the men lie to their men that women mm, are this and that. This and that. <laughs> this is a lie. Oh, enjoy your own. Don't be deceived by anybody. Let me ask you a question. Nobody is Let me ask you a question. If uh, some girls are saying that women, men are trash, men are this, men are cheats, I will ask you this girl. How many men have you have dated? You dated? <laughs> or how many men have you been in a relationship with that they had, had cheated on you or had, had made you feel like they are trash? Yes. And the same for the men too. Yeah, the same for the men. Yeah. So guys, thank you so if, much. If for, men are trans, then everybody on this earth is oh, trash, including man, your father. It's trash. <laughs> or your brother, like it. So you don't just oh, say that. Goodness. Not all men are the same. Yeah. Some are good. Some are not. So. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, share this channel to somebody, and then subscribe and like if you haven't subscribed. Please do. Bless you. Love you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>